Hello everyone, today we're doing the qualitative mono, uh, infectious mononucleosis test. I'm pulling out my cartridges right here in order to do the positive and negative QC along with the patient. So this is a wave test if you're using it for whole blood and a moderate complexity test using serum or plasma and that is what we are going to be using. This is a test for antibodies to the Epstein-Barr virus. Okay, so patient one, positive control and negative, whoops, control. All right, so we are using 10 microliters of patient uh, specimen and QC. All right, so we're going to put that in there, pull it up. There we go. All right, cap. This is the specimen well right here. We're gonna add the buffer solution to it also. All right, so 10 microliters of this positive control. You're gonna notice that there is a quick reference card in there that I keep um, knocking over. Okay, so there's 10 positive control. Close that up. I'll show you the card in a minute. I'm trying to go quickly because my phone has limited space and I made a video earlier on this and it cut me out in the middle of it because of how low of storage I have. Okay, so we're going to add that to the specimen well. Always treat your specimens and controls the same, right? All right, now two to three drops of developer. One, two, one, two, one, two. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start our timer for eight minutes. So this is a direct solid phase immunoassay that is using the buffer to draw up that patient or control liquid up through the cartridge. You'll see the dye going up. That's not, that's not blood, that's dye. All right, and you wanna make sure they're on a flat surface so that this process doesn't get hindered. So I'll come back to you when we, when we are at the point where it's done. All right, so we are nearing the end of the incubation period, and you can see that these test results are exactly what we were expecting. Um, I did expect that the patient was gonna be negative, and so there's no test line, meaning uh, that there weren't any antibodies detected and the control line means that yes the cartridge is working for the positive control uh, you can start seeing that faint line there at the test line meaning that that is showing a positive test result the negative there is no line in the test line so that is showing absolutely perfectly um, like i said it's not done yet but i'm going to end this video shortly here we see all of the control lines are there and if you look here at your card, you're looking to see that there is any kind of line there, whether it's faint or not, that's both acceptable um, to have it there. If there is no control line, that means that it is 
a invalid test and you need to make sure to redo it and then get a new lot if it still is a problem. So uh, what you would see on your CBC smear would be a lot of large reactive limbs because they're reacting to the Epstein-Barr virus. There are three phases of the virus. You have the lytic phase, which is a productive infection, and there's lytic replication in both the B cells and the epithelial cells of the patient, and that's occurring early or after primary inoculation um, from an infected patient to the new patient. There's the latent phase where there is infection of a single B cell, which undergoes growth transformation. And um, I, I'm sorry, there's only two phases. And then there's the cytotoxic T cells that eliminate the infected cells. So you're expecting this to be in your tonsils, um, the epithelial cells around your tonsils and that nasal, well, the, uh, the back of the throat. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Um, please make sure to note that if this is positive, you can do the serology test, the anti-EBV or anti-Epstein-Barr uh, virus uh, serology testing and um, that way you can detect a, a true positive or negative. All right, talk to you later, bye.